The Frightful Ride of Michael McMichael by Bonnie Becker, illustrated by Mark Fearing. Twas the 13th of November, a stormy night, when the 13 bus hove into sight. Something about it didn't seem right. But Michael McMichael boarded. Welcome, welcome, the driver grinned, beckoning McMichael in. His teeth were long and white as sin, his nose bent and warded. The bus was full, barely room inside. Perhaps he should wait for a different ride. But he was late, and well, besides, it was Grand's dear pet he transported. So the bus slipped off on its late night route, and Michael helped old ladies out, and in general was a loud most stout. As the riders steadily deboarded, soon there were five, then two, then one. Till Michael McMichael was all alone with a driver whose face was thin as bone and more and more distorted. When the bus was empty, no more in sight, the driver hissed a soft delight. Doesn't the cold give an appetite for body parts assorted? The boy, it seems, hadn't noticed before the jaw-like opening of the door. The tongue-like glistened, glisten of the floor, the teeth-like seats it supported. Really, you should stop up here. My grandmother's house is nearly near. I bring her something very dear. He held up the basket he sported. But you haven't paid, the driver moaned. I'm sorry to say you can't go home till you pay the fare with meat or bone. Or Coffers will not be sorted, shorted. Our coffers will not be shorted. Curling his mouth in a dreadful sneer, he grabbed McMichael by the ear and twisted it, began to veer toward a slathering mouth, most horrid. Now Michael was a peaceful boy, kindness and cheer his greatest joys. But the moment called for a desperate ploy, and to this the lad retorted. Good sir, he cried, why the haste? Should grand sweet thing go to waste? Wouldn't you like just a little taste? Your service should be rewarded. McMichael lifted the basket lid. In that darkness something hid, but the greedy driver did as bid. His tongue uncoiled long and contorted. And thus he met a terrible fate. For his head and arms and legs were eight. His shoes waved goodbye, so sad too late. He was gone, move on! exported. Twas the 13th of November, a stormy night, when the 13th bus lurched off in fright, and Michael McMichael strolled out of sight, or so it's been reported. Burp.